We are the young people from Somerset that have been asked to make this film to investigate the well-being of the local community. We're going to answer these questions by talking to people who live or work in the area. What is well-being? Is well-being the same for everyone? So what is it like to live in Somerset? What could be done to improve our sense of well-being? I think Summerford is actually a really good place. I think it's improved greatly actually in sort of the last few years and I know certainly from a police point of view uh, crime levels have actually deteriorated. I think Summerford's full of some of the best people in the world. I like it. A lot of people still seem to think it's the old council estate but uh, Summerford estate has improved vastly. I think it's, I think it's a great place. It's had, it's had a raw deal in the past. Summerford, I think, is a nice estate, a nice area. Over 80% of the people who live here are very happy with the estate. I think it's got a bit of a bad reputation um, in terms of Christchurch as a whole um, compared to the other areas, but I think it's something that seems to be passed on from years ago when there probably were a few more problems within Summerford. It's a bit of a ghetto in a way, I think, because it's a part of Christchurch where you will drive past and, and unless you know someone here or work here or have a very re particular reason for being here, um, a lot of people don't have a clue about Summerford. They still think of it as it used to be and uh, it takes a long time for them to realise that it's better than it, it used to be. Essentially, I think it's about self-esteem and one's own personal aspirations. And I suppose the opportunity to realise those aspirations, which don't always depend upon you, if I put it like that. Yeah. Staying healthy, safe. Um, I think it means really to be, to have confidence and to feel that you are able to do what you want to do in your life. It means being educated well. It means having a good life. It means being healthy. It means having a good diet. It means taking exercise. It means having lots of opportunities to do things. The one thing I notice about people in this area, and I think they, they seem to they seem to feel that they, the world takes up, they don't need to take up, as, or they shouldn't take up quite as much of the world as people in other areas. It's in everybody's interest to try and find ways to improve people's well-being because it will immediately pass on to improve things like um, demands on healthcare and, and also um, employability and these things. It's very important to create high levels of self-esteem. What you find on the Summerford area, sadly, the life expectancy is less than the life expectancy elsewhere. Doing drugs and other, ex, you know, other experimental things which aren't really healthy for you. Um, not being happy with where you live can also affect your well-being. I think there's a lot of drugs and alcohol with young people um, and not a lot for them to do. Partly just the physical isolation of the place and I think a lot of it is down to historical things. If an adult was asking me about that, a grown up, I'd be saying it's about self-esteem. That means what do I think about myself? What do I think about ambition?
uh, try to get more people involved in activities that we do. But in the end, I think it's about trying to create opportunities for pe people to establish their own network. What would I do to be improving the area? I'd be looking for what's called more social integration, getting people out, mixing, better understanding of issues. And I think just having a, a place where people can explore their their artistic or um, just ex explore new things about themselves, having opportunities to try things out. They don't have to, to love it or they don't have to be the best at it, but just having opportunities to give things a go, to take part in music, to take part in drama, to do things that are artistic. More film projects. More art. More sports facilities. Do more art. Do more exercise. Have more green spaces. Have more music. Provide the community with more entertainment. <laughs> Friends and family should spend time together. Have more trips and travel. Have more art. Well, it doesn't really seem like a very inspirational place, and it's not. It was quite a not a very exciting place to live. I mean, it's just like a very simple estate sort of doesn't thing. Doesn't really shout out, live here. Yeah. I'm biased because I've I've grown up here, so I'm I'm slightly biased. But you get bad behaviour wherever you go. There's not going to be a, a perfect area, and there there are a lot of kids around here. So there are always going to be kids when they're bored that just misbehave and I think that is, that is a part of growing up, making mistakes and learning from them. There is a bit of bad behaviour but it's because there's nothing for younger children to do so they have no, they do have a choice but they kind of don't because there's nothing for them to do so. It's almost like in the half term there isn't activities for kids out there to, to do and they can get bored and cause trouble and then that's where the mischief comes from when they when they haven't got stuff to fill up their time with. Young people get very bored easily. They just sit at home and normally play games consoles and not really doing much mm. but if they were out then they could go play football, do loads of activities mm. where they can keep fit and not just stay at home eating, yeah. sitting in front of the TV. Yeah. If I had a magic wand, I would bring positivity to this area, not just for the, for the people in the area, but the, for the people outside, so that there is a positive, a positive energy around here, so we have that hope to become a safe place. If I had a magic wand, I would bring more youth workers to the um, local estate, because then more bad behaviour would be got rid of. We do, we do have youth workers and that around here, but it would just be so much better if there were more because, like I've said, there are a lot of children in this area and having a couple just isn't enough for those youth workers. So having more gives more opportunity for, for more young people to get involved. I think because we get labelled and it's, it's an estate, and unfortunately stereotypes come with that and I think that holds some of it back really because people don't take any notice of what the good things are that go on, they just focus on the, the negatives. More community activities, um, 
for the holidays and get-togethers um, involving sports, arts, crafts, all that the children love doing. Just more inspirational people, people that want to work with the children and, and give them opportunities because there doesn't seem to be many adults um, around that want to do things like that either. A lot of the children and the families just sit in their houses or play in the streets and, and don't tend to want to get... And lots of funding, lots of money, because with money you can put more things on. But unfortunately, that's what we lack in. I think teenagers need more activities and stuff for them to do, like the skate parks. In dark, they're not safe, so they need safe environments for them to go, be together and have fun with each other. It just needs people, time and activities for the children and, and finding out the children's interests, getting out with the children that are running around on the streets and saying what would you like to be doing today instead of doing this. A bit more outreach and trying to find out what, what they want instead of just providing things that they think they want. I would bring theatre because it gives everybody the chance to do singing, dancing, there's background people, so for the arty people they can involve themselves and just you've got off the people behind the scenes and everything so it's a thing everybody could do, not just dancing where one person likes it, theatre everybody can join in and have a part. I think it's nice living here. I trust my little girl to go out and play around here. It's really nice and the people are really nice. We have quite a large population of over, you know, over 65s. So I think that's a generational thing, you know, where they think Summerford is a bad area. But I mean, I've lived here for 10 years and I find it to be an actually great area, really. You know, it's very safe. I feel safe for my children to play. And I love it here, I think it's great. Um, and a bit more for children to do. I mean, you know, we've got a park up the road but I think maybe also for teenagers, you know, maybe sort of like a recording studio, just something to keep them engaged in really. And a bit more activities, I think, to do with the water. I think because we live such so close to water, you know, I do think that there should be, you know, more sort of courses and skills, you know, for them to learn, really. I think Sumford has only got a reputation due to people keep calling it a bad, but I don't think it actually is. I think it's a good estate. I've lived here all my life and I love living here. But then I suppose that's because it's classed as a council estate and council estates have a, supposedly a bad reputation. Obviously that's not the case because, you know, um, just because someone lives in a council estate doesn't mean that it's a bad place to be. The only problem is that when you have a council estate, it, you, te you always think that council estates are people that there's lots of people on benefits and then if you've got people on benefits they're then causing crime and stuff and I don't believe that that's the case either but maybe not putting all people in that are maybe all in one place maybe you know but then it's, it's you can only put them where people are going to be able to go and they're there's affordable housing so I don't know that's a difficult one I have no idea how you're going to ever get around that. It used to get a lot of problems but not so bad now um, most of it's drug related to be quite honest I've lived in this area most of my life, so to me it's not that bad, but I can, I can understand why it has got a bad reputation. Uh, I know it does have a bad reputation. I don't think it's justified because I've lived here for almost two years now and I've enjoyed it. Probably more things for people to do for all ages, not just, not just young people, but for, for everyone. There's hardly anywhere here now for actually young children to go and play. I shouldn't really say this, but I will say it, it's um, getting people off their backsides to go and get a job. Because I don't think it's fair on um, some people who put into the system because they've been working all their life and then you get some on benefits who just don't seem to be bothered and just take all, everything going for granted. I've seen it for over the years, um, sometimes not at its best, but I, f I feel that it's improving slightly. But I feel that it could also do with a lot more help to and support for the kids on the estates and in terms of like activities and stuff that they can get up to. We've learned that Summerford has changed a lot. The area is improving and people are feeling safer and happier. We now feel that we know the area and its people better.
We also feel more confident and have learnt new skills. Our three top tips for improving well-being are do new things, interact with others, think positively and be proud of our area. Wealth should not affect people's access to opportunities. Exercise is important for everyone. Loving families need to spend time together. Projects should connect us. Lack of self-esteem can affect confidence. Doing projects such as art, sport and theatre can improve well-being. Bad behaviour but a bad reputation. Activities should promote respect and tolerance for other people. Everyone should be challenged to do something different and get outside. Inspiring people live in Somerford, so let's learn from them. No one should feel isolated. Let's bring people together. Green spaces and venues need to be used as places to have fun and meet new people.